view down there. So we're just leaving Camp Cigarettes, which was very nice. It's really lovely actually, well positioned, lovely part of the um, like old style town as well, really nice. And then you can walk into Tagore, which we did last night, and it's, it's very similar to Split, but just not on a huge city kind of way, is it? Lots of little nooks and crannies with boutiques and shops and restaurants. as far as splits right over there in the distance. And this is where Katie feels at home, on the dirt tracks. It's where you feel at home, <laughs> not just Katie. With the all-terrain tyres. This is actually the road to the campsite. We're not just come down a dirt street because Andy felt like it, like a normal adult. Right. Super quick turnaround. I've only been here, what, about half an hour? And then we're off. What's the matter? I said I'd rather put my other leggings on, I think. Why? Because it's a bit chillier, isn't it, today? Well, super quick turnaround. Parked up. Half an hour later, we're heading into the park. Yes! But you can also park on the Stable out of the car park. Not sure if that's free or not. Yeah, that's, that's free on the car park. Lots of restaurants as well. That's good, isn't Souvenir it? shops. Now we're on the descent down. Definitely not flip-flop type territory. Need some good shoes on. First view of the waters, and I can hear the waterfall. No, I'm not going down there. <laughs> if there's a shortcut, it's gonna be taken. That's not a shortcut. Just walked down to the place where you book the boat, but there's no more boats available. It's what, about half 11? Yeah, 11.30. The people in front of us were asking about which boat they could get, and they said they're all full, so they've already gone, which is a real shame, because now it means we can't explore the whole island, because the only way to do it is by car or by boat. And we don't have that, we can't use our bikes. Yeah, I think it's about, did you say 20 kilometers to the yeah, other side? No it's quite a, quite a distance, yeah. even for us. Yeah. Planked walkway. These are wider. Yeah, these are wider and uh, not made out of logs. Well, these can get past a bit easier on these ones. So, not quite as authentic, but more practical.
This is the famous shot where everybody takes photos and swims, or used to swim. So I've got a few minutes spare while Michelle works out how to fold the map back up so I just thought I'd tell you that uh, we're on the boat it was wrong earlier when we were told they were all full it's actually they're just reserving some for groups and when we went back later there's space the on the two o'clock bus yeah two o'clock bus boat I've done it as well <laughs> Exciting. On the boat, two hours, hopefully it's exciting. I'm sure it'll be lovely actually. We get to get off and have a walk around. Well, that's Kirko Lakes done. Wasn't so impressed with the boat ride, were you? No, not really. It's all a bit samey, the boat ride. And then you get to the where the island is with the monks. And it's we did, lovely. But... We, we did it in 15 minutes, didn't we? Yeah. Easily. I think everybody was a bit like, oh, is that it? So, but how much was it? About £11. Pounds. Each. Yeah. For the boat. Yeah. And, uh, it was nice to have a little snooze on the way back. <laughs> on yeah. The boat. So out of the two, Plitvis and Kirka. Definitely Plitvis still. Yeah. Still wins because you, everywhere you can get to, it's all accessible by foot. Whereas with that one, you have to use a boat, or you could have taken a four-hour boat as well, couldn't you? Which would have taken you 
to a bit further and then you could walk a bit further on a walking trail which made it for four hours or whatever it is four and a half hours but, but a lot of boat time here yeah. so i think if you want a quick walk uh, see all this good stuff because the waterfalls are really good here oh yeah the come beach. here if you want a bit more of a day hiking, then uh, go to Clitbis. Yeah, that's definitely still my favourite place. That was awesome. It's worth every penny. Clitbis is more expensive. Yeah, but you can understand why. Yeah. It's stunning. The boats are included in the Clitbis price as well. Yeah. Clitbis price. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Right, back to the motorhome, pick up the bikes. Oh yeah, Anders already told me. We haven't done enough, have we? We need to get on the bikes. As soon as we get home, should we just go on the bikes? It's nice to be on the bikes. Just a short ride, I think. Just to a, a bar, to a bar yeah. We've had no bar action today. I've been in water all day. This is a little cockatiel, I think. And as if by magic, we are here. Oh, we've got a complaint. Yes, because I've got half measure in a wine glass. If I'm paying for a big one, I need one of those. How do we get out of here? and it's actually back through the Kirka uh, National Park which is what we're doing. We've got tickets but the man just said he didn't see the tickets and he just said oh you can cycle through anyway so it looks like you can take the cycle pass for free. So it's gonna be super quiet and we're gonna get to see the other side of the park. Fabulous. Lovely. Unfortunately, we've just spoken to the park warden. We can't take the bikes just across the small part to get to where we're actually, where Katie is parked. We've got to go all the way back and all the way back on the road, sadly. Even though it's really quiet and it's late and they're closing soon, they won't let us take the bikes. So we're going to head back again. It is what it is. Isn't it? it is. <laughs> and if we do it, then everybody will do it. So it's not good. <laughs> 